Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since the last upload and of course the reason for that was because the AWP Executor had shut down and we were all anticipating when it would come back and well, it's finally back. Um, there was a bit of a drama with the actual launch of the Vault Executor which is essentially the replacement for the AWP Executor. I would like to mention that it is currently updated to the latest version. Now, if you are interested in purchasing the Executor yourself, you can head down over to the first link in the description, which will take you over to our website. We do have a new theme, as you can see. Um, now, the first thing that you will see will be the Vault Executor. So you can go ahead and click on purchase. It is currently on a discount for Christmas. Normally, the price is $7.99, but it's going for $5.49. I will be adding the 30 day and the 90 day keys very shortly. So over here, you can go ahead and click on buy now and follow the steps to complete your purchase. We do have a variety of different payment methods available for this. Once you do have your license key, you can go into the second link in the description, which will take you over to the Vault website. This is where you register your key and activate your account. Go ahead and enter a username and email. And of course the invite code will be the code that you have purchased. So that will be the license key. Uh, and then of course, create your password and go ahead and sign up. Once you have signed up, you will be able able to download the executor from the top right of the screen so go ahead and click on the download button and download the executor once you have it downloaded this is what it will look like so go ahead and double click on that and before you do this make sure you have your virus and threat protection turned off just in case it deletes any of the important executor files so over here go ahead and click on next and then over here just follow the download steps I already have it installed so I'm just going to go ahead and actually open it up. Let's go ahead and do that. So there is the Vault Executor. When you open the Vault Executor for the first time, you will be prompted to log in. So simply go ahead and log in to the actual Executor and then you'll be taken to the screen over here. Make sure you've got the correct version selected for your actual Roblox and then click on the download or the install files button. When you do click that, if you do see an error which says installation failed or anything along those lines, the reason for that is most likely because you have not yet redeemed your license key. So make sure you actually redeem your license key in your account before you try downloading the um, the actual files. So once you have downloaded the files, you're pretty much ready to go now. So you can see that it does say no instance. So it has not recognized any Roblox application as of right now. And the reason for that is because we have to actually jump into one. So let's go ahead and jump into a Roblox game right now. And as soon as we open it, you can see that it does successfully load the actual executor and it says launching Roblox. So once it does open Roblox, you're pretty much ready to go now. It has injected. Now let me gr grab a script and I will show you how you can actually execute the script with this executor. So I've gone ahead and actually grabbed the infinite yield script over here. You want to click on this icon right here and click on new tab and that will open up a completely new tab for you where you can paste your script and run it. So let's go ahead and paste in the script and click on run. And just like that, you can see it has successfully injected the script, executed it without any problems. And we can now go back to executing scripts the old way. Now, as it stands, Vault does currently claim to be completely undetected and only time will tell if those claims do turn out to be true. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video to the very end. I'll be making sure to fix my upload schedule so you've got new bangers to look out for every single day. And with that being said, guys, until next time, take care.